الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أحبت في الله there are so many verses in the Quran which illustrate for us mercy and the mercy of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are so many verses in the Quran that illustrate for us the mercy of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there are so many ahadith which illustrate the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mercy and rift and lean and being kind and gentle. However, we have those from the creation who have chosen a path other than the Sabila Mu'minin, other than the path of the Mu'minin, and have chosen a path of the dogs of the fire. The Prophet وسلم, al said, Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar, the Khawarij, they're the dogs of the hellfire. Ahabatifillah, those extremists, those people who claim to represent Islam, those people who do the exact opposite of what Islam entails as far as mercy. Those people who kill everyone, combatants and non-combatants, in order to what? Strengthen their cause. In order to what? Raise themselves. In order to what? Put forth themselves as Khalifa and representatives of the Muslims, when in fact they are not representatives of anything except fulfilling the prophecy of those people who would come after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and deviate in his religion and will have their deeds rejected. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man fi amrina hadha laysa minhu rad. Whoever innovates in this affair of our will have it rejected. How do they innovate Ahabatifillah? When they kill the reporters, when they burn the people alive, when they kill those people who profess Islam and they show no mercy. They do the exact opposite. Islam is a mercy for mankind. It's a guidance and a source for mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. All praise belongs to the Lord of the worlds. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The most beneficent, the most merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Says fi kitab al karim wa ilahukum ilahun wahid la ilaha illa huwa rahman al rahim. Allah subhanahu wa taala says fi kitab al karim and your Lord is only one God and there is no one worthy of worship except Him, al rahman, the most beneficent, the most merciful, al rahim, the most merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa taala says. في كتاب الكريم وللله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض يغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله غفور رحيم. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, and for Allah is the heavens and the earth. He forgives whomsoever he pleases, and he punishes whoever so whosoever he pleases. And Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa taala says في كتاب الكريم اعلموا أن الله شديد العقاب وأن الله غفور رحيم and ver and know that Allah is severe in his punishment and that he is Allah is and verily Allah is the most forgiving the most merciful so Allah will punish us for our sins unless he subhanahu wa taala wishes to forgive us and he also is the most forgiving and most merciful. But don't transgress the bounds. Do not be the people of extreme, because then you will receive an extreme punishment. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, عَنَ أَبِي هُرَيْرَةَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلَا عَنْهُ أَنَّ نَبِيَّ صَلَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ wa sallama قَالْ لَمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ وَالْخَلْقِ كتب في كتابه فهو عنده فوق العرش إن رحمتي تغلب غضبي. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said that when Allah created the creation, He wrote in a book. كتب في كتابه على نفسه. In another narration, He He wrote or, or, or decreed for Himself. سبحانه وتعالى and this book is with him above his throne. He said, Inna rahmati taglibu ghaddibi. Verily, my mercy precedes my wrath. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows mercy. But what about these creatures, these wicked dogs of the hellfire? Do they ponder upon those ayats of Allah? Do they ponder upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, exercising mercy over the creation, showing people the best of examples of Islam, calling people to kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or do they call people to join them in wickedness, join them in facade, spreading wickedness throughout the earth? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah about those people, who spread wickedness throughout the earth. They spread facade about the earth. And they claim, in, in the ma mus, Verily, we are the Muslihun. Ala wa innahum mufsidun. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them. They claim that they're rectifying the earth, that they're rectifying the creation. But in fact, they're calling the people to wickedness. Ala innahum muf, uh, innahum mufsidun. They are the wicked ones. They are the ones who spread wickedness. Allah says this about those people who claim that they're rectifying, but instead they're spreading wickedness. An Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la yarhamullahu man la yarhamul nas. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as was narrated by Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah does not give mercy to the one who does not give mercy to the people. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us and forgive us of our many sins and bless us with mercy.